Yeah, hey, tubers, welcome back. So today we're going to be capacity testing my 25 kilowatt hour battery, or at least testing my claims of 25 kilowatt hours of storage. Uh, and I'm using my battery hasher. So it's affectionately known that because it's a DC to DC uh, mining rig. It draws about 300 watts from the batteries. So let's take you around a quick look at how it works, and then we'll get into the test, and we'll see what we come up with. At this point, what do you reckon? 25 kilowatt hours is where I placed it at about 500 amp hours per cell. So it's got, I've got to be close, right? Yeah, let's get into it. Let's have a look. So the heart and soul of this battery hasher rig is this 48 volt to 12 volt DC to DC converter, and it'll do a max of 60 amps output. It is quite simple in the way it works, where you've got the input, so you've got positive and negative, and then you've got the output, so you've got negative and positive. And it's pretty much just a standard PC motherboard down there. So I believe it's a 160 watt Pico controller. And again, your 12 volts just comes in here. And it converts the 5 volt and the 3.3 volt for the motherboard. And then we've just got another 12 volt rail that pops over here to the 12 volt input of the motherboard. It's a nice simple setup really. And the way this works is, all we've got to do is come down here to the little control board. And it is just DC to DC, so it just comes around, plugs into the battery there, and then the battery comes in there, in there, through the breaker, which is switched off at the moment, and then down into the battery pack. So we switch it on, and then we've got a little light come on at the back of the power supply there. All we've got to do is power it on. I could have put the power switch in a better place. Fans are spinning. Turn the monitor on. Here we go. And I run EthOS as mining software. And if we come down here, we can see we've got the two cards there. Have a look there. It's pulling uh, 42 watts from the battery at the moment. We're still going through the boot setup. Oh, there we go. She's starting to mine now, so 23. She'll ramp up a little bit. She's at 45 mega hashes. It'll be interesting to see how much income this produces as well during this test. And we've come up to 280 watts, 290 watts there. I think it sits on about 300 watts once it settles down. There we go. So that was a little bit easier and a little bit quicker than trying to do my BMS idea. That was going to take weeks. There we go. Miner is active. We're doing 55 mega hashes. And these cards are about five years old, the four or five years old, I think. So. They've had a hard life, they've done a lot of mining, they haven't done much else in their life. We are four hours into it. We've got 28.36 mega hashes on each card, or thereabouts, and that's about where I would have thought it would have settled at. Um, there's no heat in any of that, I've just had a thermal camera onto that. And then we have done estimated earnings, I should have put that over to dollars. Let's refresh that, there we go, $1.65. So $1.65 so far in earnings, well that's estimated earnings in 24 hours, so that's not actual earnings. We'll work that out when we get to the end of it. And then we've got the battery, so we're sitting at 4.9 is the low and 4.1 is the high. Bloody brilliant, I love seeing it when it's got a good spread like that. It's still at 57 volts and we have 1.5 kilowatt hours drawn out of the batteries already. So going well, we've got a few hours left to go. I'll see you again soon. Yeah, we're about 11 hours in, and it does seem to be hashing quite well still. Just going on the voltage. I could probably turn that fan speed down a little bit. They're buzzing their head off. But that's fine, I'd rather I'm cool than hot. So going into the business end of it. Cell, so we've only got a spread of 0 0.01 volts, which is fantastic. Uh, we've taken out 51 amp hours out of the battery and we've done 3.2 kilowatt hours so that'll reset at midnight but i'll have the screen capture so we can add that together so we're going well after 11 hours so that's going to do about six or maybe six and a half kilowatt hours per day so this test is going to go for about four days which ain't bad running a 300 watt load for that long so it's nap time for me, I'll see you in the morning, 
and see if all was still well. I'm actually really impressed that that's still running actually, if I should be honest. I thought I would have had one card drop out with 511 errors on EthoS, which is quite common. But anyways, I'll see you in the morning. So disappointed. Got a 511 error. So one of the cards, this one here, has had some sort of a problem. So I just have to reboot and we'll be good to go again. The only reason I knew, because I was looking at my computer and I could see the amps drop, or oh, the watts drop, or well, both, amps and watts, I guess. I feel this video is gonna turn into Pete fixing his um, his battery hasher rig. Go on through, change the riser and cable this time. Uh, it's the second time since the last update that it's happened. And now it's not booting. Ugh. Editing Pete. Hey, boot out all the frustration of this rig not working, will you? Adult content warning. Freaking stupid thing. Seriously, it can't be a Pete video um, without a drama. One of my RX 570, or 580, that is, died on me. And that's the one that kept 511 error. So it doesn't even boot now. No, no fan spin or anything when you turn it on. So... Not sure what's going on with that. I'll fix that tomorrow or the next day, or it'll probably sit there for another couple of weeks. Uh, the solution to my problem is two RX 570s. Oh no, they're only four gig. That's not really a solution to the problem at all. Damn it, four gig cards. Okay, I'll have to switch to Ravencoin rather than Ethereum. Right, yeah, switching from Ethereum to Raven. It's going to change the metrics a little bit, but at least the, the video can go on. Radio. The addition of one extra card gives us about 460 watts. So eight and a half amps. So that'll get the job done a little bit quicker, I hope. And we've got a new time-lapse screen. So let's see how this goes. Day two has arrived and I'm happy to say Battery Hasher has worked since about maybe 20 odd hours. It's run nice and stable so far. Not quite 24 hours yet. The three cars are still mining there. The temperatures are doing okay. And the hashing rate has sort of settled down nicely. Can we come over to here? Um, and we've got Raven Miner, so this is the mining software. And so far we've done about 29 Raven, I think. Well, we'll give, about, give about 29 Raven, I think. Created, but it's only like, uh, what's that, 11 Raven coins is only worth 50 cents. So we're still doing well there. And the more important metric is this beautiful screen here. Look at that. This is probably the most balanced battery I've ever had. I'm really, really impressed with it. We're under 0.3 of a volt spread now. And we're more than halfway through the test. So we've got 300 amp hours taken out of the battery so far. And I don't even know what the, I haven't managed to catch a hold of the cumulative every day. So we've done five, about five kilowatt hours since midnight last night. And it's almost midnight, midnight now, uh, midday now. So five, five and a half kilowatt hours. So that's uh, 10 and a half kilowatt hours a day. But granted, we weren't on the 460 watts for the first half. So I think we're heading towards our goal of 25 kilowatt hours. It's kind of late and I thought I better check this before I go to bed. And she's dropping fast in the past two hours has dropped by 0 0.4, 0 0.04 of a volt. So if anybody knows lithium ion batteries at the bottom, they tend to drop down faster than at the top. There's more energy density at the top than there is at the bottom. So I'm not sure whether I'll actually see this finish. I think I'll be asleep when it finishes tonight. Um, so far we've got 400 amp hours. I would certainly hoping I would have hit 500 without a problem um, because that comes in at about uh, 25 kilowatt hours. At the moment we have done just over 20 kilowatt hours, I think from memory. 
Um, so it is going all right. We're still hashing away. Still doing well there. Still making our dollar fifty a day or something USD from that. But Chivas, I've got to admit something. I'm honestly not too sure whether I set up the Batrium properly so it turns off at 2.5 volts. Um, I have checked it on another computer, but I don't want to stop this time lapse on this laptop. I've checked it on another computer and stuff, and it seems right, but geez, I really, really wish now that I had tested it. But look, it doesn't really matter. If it does end up going a little bit low, uh, you know, we'll deal with that later. But I'll see if I can get up nice and early in the morning and take a look and see what we're up to. I know this doesn't make for much of a video, but I really do like validating my builds to make sure they are what I say are. So I'm not doing clickbait or anything like that. So tubers, I reckon I'll see you in a few hours with some numbers and some figures and Pete doing some maths. I'm gonna work this out. I didn't configure the state of charge properly. Oh, the SOC, so. I can add another 100 or so amp hours to that when this is all finished. Oh, and for reference, we are almost two and a half days in. I figured before this test finished, I should get the old thermal camera out and have a quick look. Um, so far, I'm really liking what I'm seeing. I can just see the laptop and the three cards up there that are a bit warm. To be expected, I guess. <laughs> Will that change? Um, there is. Oh, come on! Don't do this to me, Fleur camera. You've been great. Come on. Where's the color gradient gone? There we go. Ah, everything else is too hot. Yeah, <laughs> everything else is. Um, yeah, we'll just go down here and we'll deal with it. But there's no hot spots that I can see anywhere there. The cables and the shunter is a little bit warm back there, as you can see in the middle of the screen. The cells themselves, there's no apparent hot spots or anything else. If you come back here, you definitely see a hot spot. Um, let's see if I can see something in here. There you go, you can see one bad cell in that battery there. There's a quick look down, you can see a bad battery just in there, which I'll have to deal with tomorrow which is the second cell down on that cell there. Where is it? There we go. So you can definitely see it. So it doesn't take much to see a bad cell or even a bad cell. I mean, that's not even hot. It's just a little bit warmer than the rest. You can still see it. So I don't know if you can see the time, but it's about an hour past when I was last out here or 40 minutes. And we've already dropped where are we going? Where are we going with the camera? Another 0 0.02 of a volt. So she's starting to fall quick. Well, I don't hear any extra noise. Some lights. Giddy up, she's done. So the shunt trip did its job and protected the battery. Always good to see. Turn the, oh, I turned the screen on, but there's no use turning the screen on. There's no fans on. So it's all been turned off. And the shunt trip is gone. So we still have a little bit of headway in the battery. It must have turned off at 2.8 volts. Um, we can get into 2.5 volts. So if we don't meet the 25 kilowatt hours, we might have to do something a little bit sneaky so we get there. Let's take a look. G'day, Editor Pete. And I've got some maths for you. So on the first day to midnight, so it's about 12 hours, we got 3.994 kilowatt hours discharged from the battery. And that was before I had all the issues with the cards and stuff like that. It's since been sorted, it's fairly, fairly good now. On the 3rd of the 4th, 2022, we did 8.19 kilowatt hours. So some of that day was with the two cards and other was with three cards. So it's a bit skew if. On the third day, it was 11.14 kilowatt hours. At this point, I must admit, I was getting a little bit anxious. Um, I didn't have access to these figures because I didn't see the click over at midnight. Um, so I was, I was kind of getting a bit worried that we weren't gonna get there. But let me just tell you, we did. 
on the third day. I didn't go down to 2.5, so we had a little bit more in there, in fact. And it did 1.967 kilowatt hours. So that is a grand total of, and find some great music insert it here, Pete. 25.291 kilowatt hours from my 25 kilowatt hour battery. So at a pinch, if I really needed the power, that could do 26, 27 kilowatt hours if I really, really pushed it. And it'll do 20 every day for the next five years without even, without even stressing. And I'd say 20 is more reasonable because I'd only take it up to 4.1 volts and then drop it down to three volts at the lower. So it would add some lifespan to these batteries now what's next for these batteries? Well, that's a really, really good thought because I've still got to worry about the, the Australian rules and all that sort of stuff, the Australian standards. Um, if you saw my last video, you see I have got a Victron inverter um, and I'd hope to be plonking it on the side of this thing and dumping this on a paddock somewhere and making an EV charger or something. I thought that'd make a cool video, but who knows but what i can tell you is this battery won't be here for much longer it is off to a new home um, and because of those australian regulations i can't put it into service here um, i certainly don't want to get caught putting it into service here so it's off to a new home i'm sure it will have a long and happy life somewhere many hundreds of kilometers away from here so tubers thank you very much for tuning in let me know what you want to see in the next video and i will see you on the next one.